My name is Ryan Dunn, and today I'll be talking about chronic traumatic encephalopathy. A lot of you guys probably don't know what chronic traumatic encephalopathy is. It is uh, also pronounced as CTE. It is, it is a progressive degenerative um, disease found in the brain of athletes with repetitive brain trauma. Okay. First described as punk drunk syndrome, syndrome, CTE was discovered in 1928 by a pathologist named Harrison Martland. In 2009, there were only 49 cases um, in medical literature since 1928, 39 of whom were boxers, as many thought this was just a uh, disease exclusive to boxers. Slide. All right. Where is it today? CTE can be found throughout a, handful, a lot of handful of uh, sports in today's society, starting with boxing, to hockey, and more famously found nowadays in football. However, Jeff Assel, a uh, former England soccer player, died after hitting a ball in a game. Later, autopsy showed that he was diagnosed with CTE. Slide. <clears throat> Causes of CTE are found from numerous uh, hits to the head and concussions built up from over the years. Symptoms include um, memory loss, confusion, impaired judgment, aggression, depression, suicidal thoughts, and eventually progressive dementia. Slide. Uh, fatalities. A history of former athletes who died of CTE includes Junior Seau, a former San Diego Charger and New England Patriot, who died on May 2nd, 2012, after he killed himself with his own gun at the age of 43. Javon Belcher, a Kansas City Chief, who uh, moments after taking his own girlfriend's life, took his own life December 1st, 2012, he was only the age of 25. And Mike Webster, a Hall of Famer, who died on September 24, 2002, at the age of 50. However, there are many more cases as, as a 76 of 79 medical um, cases of deceased players were found to have CTE. All right, preventing CTE. Preventing CTE includes advances in helmet te technology with name brands such as Riddell, which is a uh, brand used in the NFL, college, and high school levels. The National Football League and NCAA has uh, also created a new rule called targeting which is a player cannot initiate contact to the head or neck area of a def defenseless opponent with the helmet, fist, elbow, or sh uh, shoulder. I think that's... All right. If initiated, the player would be ejected and the team would be charged with a 15-yard penalty. However, that would not be enough as... That would not be enough as NFL would enforce fines and suspensions to players who initiated targeting penalty. Most popular for committing the act is Pittsburgh Steelers James Harrison, who 